Today we're going to show how to print, fax, and e-prescribe your prescriptions for legible, accurate, secure prescriptions that your patients can't lose. There's a lot of opportunity to save time here with your patients that have lots of medicines or if you get lots of refills every day. The disadvantages are you need to go to the printer to sign your prescriptions or if you fax them, sometimes the pharmacy's fax machines break. Some of the e-prescribing pharmacies aren't yet enabled and particularly the big ones like Caremark. The net effect though is time savings if you fax or e-prescribe. Let's look at an ECW treatment window and I've got three diagnoses, each of them with one prescription. Our typical patient uh, in a complicated endocrine office though, particularly our diabetes patients, have much more. It's a simple just printing print prescription. We have some options that I'll go over quickly including don't substitute. I can choose to uh, print only certain prescriptions or I can uh, tell them uh, no generic sub uh, or to add the generic name and here you see it with the generic name and you'll notice uh, that I can preview each of these prescriptions before they finally do print uh, and we have a little bit of a watermark here that uh, we've added as a security feature. And I'll just click Save and Print, and uh, we've saved a copy in our chart plus printed it out to the printer. Let's say I want to fax it instead. That saves me a little time since I don't have to stop by the printer to actually sign. Again, we can choose which medicines go out, whether there's a fax cover sheet or not, and that just is enabled by going to Preview. And if I look at here at the top, you can see which pharmacy it's going to. This defaults to the patient's preferred pharmacy. You can choose another one with Browse. And we'll go down here a little bit just to uh, show the different prescriptions and how they would look. I'm going to skip past my signature uh, since it's already on here. I don't necessarily want to save it with the uh, entire internet. But uh, suffice to say, all three prescriptions are here. Let's move the window a little bit so I can show uh, where the uh, actual final send fax button is. There it is at the bottom. We'll click it and now it's sent. So let's try e-prescribing. We'll move the window uh, again a little bit here for you to see. Um, there, e-prescribe prescription. This brings up a new window. This is a little bit bigger, so it doesn't fit my entire video recorder. You can see which pharmacy it's going to. You can change that if you want. You can choose which prescriptions go out and whether or not you want to allow substitution. Let's look at a preview. This is going to be exactly what goes to the pharmacy. And let's uh, send it. And there it goes. Now this was uh, this failed because it's not a real pharmacy. Uh, the actual process is just as fast. So let's do all three real fast. How fast can we go? Print, OK, save and print. Let's fax. We'll go to fax. Preview it. Looks good to me. Uh, it's gone. Let's go e-prescribe. This looks good too. Well, I'll show you the button here at the bottom. And we're done. So we did th three methods all in this period of time when some doctors are still doing them by hand. Let's look at a refill. This is a real patient, so I'm going to try to dodge around here. We'll click on the E that comes up. This pops up, tells you how many E refills are waiting to be serviced. Um, shows up on my tablet. Well, uh, here's the pharmacy and the medicine they're asking for. I'm going to skip around the patient name, so maintain confidentiality there. We'll double click here, and we'll take a look at the window. And this is the name of the pharmacy. Uh, has the patient name at the top, I'm omitting that. Here's the prescription the pharmacy is asking for. Here's the one that we have on file. They match identically. If I want to verify that, I can look at my pr patient's prescription list with that button there. We'll go ahead and cancel out of that. And let's go up top to the top of this window. And it gives me some options. I can look at the uh, patient hub if I want to see when they were in the office last. Just one click and I'm immediately there. Uh, it tells me when they were there last, uh, if, so if they're current or not. I can deny it and send a different prescription if I want to do that. Uh, I can then uh, click that button and then s click OK. Or I can deny the prescription entirely and then give them a reason. So I'll say a patient not seen in over two years, uh, have them call the office. and then I can click e-prescribe. But this one actually is a good prescription, so I'm going to give him PRN refills, just uh, two clicks there, and then click send response. Let me line up the window for you. 
click and a couple seconds later I get uh, success response. So this patient now has it. Thanks for watching.